Michelle Carter, young teen, she had uh, struck up a friendship online, virtual relationship with a guy named Conrad Roy the Third, and it was basically just them texting back and forth for a number of years. But Roy had been suffering from depression, and at the beginning of their relationship, Carter had urged him to seek treatment. You know, okay. so when they they were first became friends. However, as the relationship uh, got you know progressed, Carter became to uh, she eventually just began to encourage Roy. Um, every time he expressed the desire of to take his own life, she started to encourage it. Right. And was like, you know what, just go ahead and do it then if you feel that way. The fundamental principle of libertarian is the non-aggression principle. Correct. All right. So explain that in, a, in this context. So the principle of non-aggression, words aren't a valid justification. Um, they aren't force on, a, on another individual. It's absolute freedom of speech, period. No questions asked. Right. Words can never be, you, or you can never use words as a justification for um, def- self-defense or force on another person. If you view it as self-defense, you're the initiator of force. Had she gone over and put the hose in his mouth, then she would be guilty. But because she used her words, she she's not guilty. Right. And I don't even know if she is guilty. I mean, I feel like we're, there's this there's this overwhelming urge because the person this sounds very cold, but this this it, it's like essentially absolving this individual free will. We're saying that at, because of his mental state, he was completely de- dependent upon what she said. Right. And that isn't true at all. Ever. I mean, granted, you can get to a state of dependency and where of just, you know, you're irrational and not able to make logical decisions. That's why, like, you get not guilty for reasons of insanity. Mm-hmm. But this is this is a guy who is contemplating it and reaching out. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he didn't have a black a rage blackout where his he doesn't have any re- recollection of what he like. We know when a husband comes home and finds his wife, he there are many many instances where that person literally the brain didn't imprint a memory because it was in, so inconsistent with what their actions were. This is something where he was talking to someone, had decided against it, then she encouraged him to go ahead and finish it and do it right, and he listened he made a conscious decision right it's a horrible thing i just don't think she should have to serve i don't think i think she did a a moral crime a humanitarian crime Mm -hmm. i don't think she committed a legal crime only because if we're going to extend it that far this podcast could incite someone the guy that went and shot the republicans if he was listening to a progressive version of this website then they provoke you know the podcasts and the news sources he was listening to because he gave them such authority they are the ones that should go to jail